Saddleback leather, large classic briefcase, color tobacco, four month update. This is what the wear looks like in the sunshine. So you can see the color of the straps, how it's getting kind of shiny. See the handle. Here's what the back looks like. This is four months of wear. So it's getting floppier. Here's what the bottom looks like in the sunshine. So the pigskin, after four months, got kind of this weird dark color on it. I don't actually know what it's from. See, look at this. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's like all those dark spots. I'm not sure what that's from. Anyway, still looking good. It's a lot more flappy. Here's a shot of it inside with the sunlight on it still from a different angle. Uh, you can see with four months of wear, you can see the uh, starting to get scratched and more worn. I grab it all the time. See the back is getting scratchy. Anyway, I'll just show you what I keep in it. Usually in this back pocket, I'll just keep like my my to-do list. So. Um, so I can get at it easy. On the inside, I usually just keep my 12 and a half inch laptop, plus um, some folders, and all my cables and headphones and such. I always keep my laptop and folders in the back, and then the uh, the charger in the front pocket. And like I already mentioned, this thing's getting flappier. Uh, back here's getting flappier. And then there's these dark spots that are showing up on the pigskin. I think it's just from the from the wear, but I haven't figured out how, because when it lays down right there, those spots are about here, so I don't, I don't really know what that's from. But they look good, it adds character. One thing I want to point out is uh, it leans forward a little bit, not, not a huge deal, but when I set it down it has kind of a forward lean to it, um, even if the back has all the weight, so that's kind of weird. Not bad though. So during this last month, I took it on a, about a three-mile walk in backpack mode and a two-mile walk in backpack mode, and it's doing great. Uh, more on that later. There's Izzy. Hey. Hey. Another thing to update is uh, a lot of people stare at this. Wherever I go, people are staring at this bag, probably because it looks so awesome, or they're wondering why a business type person is having such a cowboyish looking bag. On the compliment side of it, I've I got several more compliments during this last month. Uh, one from a business owner who said he liked it, another one a uh, guy said awesome briefcase at a dental place, and uh, I had a handyman tell me nice case. So still getting complimented everywhere I go. Uh, I also took this briefcase on another weekend adventure and it held up great could fit a ton of stuff in there one thing I want to point out is if you have two water bottles like one on each side and you try and fit a 15.6 inch laptop it's totally not gonna happen it's gonna be it's gonna be too full here's my keychain that I got uh, you can see the wear, the color of the wear is similar to the bag. It's like a, turning into a dark brown. Um, so you notice where it's worn it has like a dark brown and then everywhere else is kind of this orangey color. This is the tobacco color. Something I wanted to point out was that when I put it in backpack mode I always keep this thing up forward so I can just pull it back like that. And then of course I've mentioned this in all my other videos but this thing is still really annoying how sharp that is. How it actually cuts into the leather. So saddleback weld that. That would be nice. So again, not a huge deal, but just something I've noticed because I've been so many miles in backpack mode with this guy. 
is that when you put it this way, of course I moved the sharp part out of the way so it doesn't keep scuffing this up, um, but it's most comfortable with this thing about there. And no matter how much I adjust this thing, this buckle usually ends up right on my shoulder. And then I can't pull the strap down far enough to be comfortable in backpack mode. So it's not bad. Uh, it's just a little thing to point out. Here's what I was talking about with the straps. So you see on this one how you can have it kind of on the front of your shoulder. So it feels better that way. And then on this one, that buckle kind of goes up pretty high. So I can't pull this strap down as far as I would like to. I've adjusted it a little bit, and it pretty much always lands that way. So not a huge deal. Um, also, I've usually never had much more than like 25 pounds in here. So, so there's how that looks. One last thing that I wanted to mention about the bag that I absolutely love so far. These guys, the fact that they swivel all the way around... It actually makes it really nice. So like this, where the straps, like where that might naturally want to be like this, it doesn't matter if that gets twisted up because you can just turn it around and around and around and untwist it, which is really, really nice, which also comes into play when you have it hooked here and when you're picking up, when you're picking it up to leave to go somewhere and the straps are all twisted, it doesn't matter because on both sides it swivels. So you basically just grab it and pick it up and it straightens itself out. And if not, you can do it really fast. So that's one thing that I absolutely love about this bag. Anyway, so there is the four month update. So this is what it looks like with four months of pretty much everyday use. Uh, light to heavy usage. There's what it looks like. So thank you very much. Enjoy.